students at a Sunderland school are getting that X-Factor feeling. Former boot camp finalist Gemma Warburton's hoping to unearth the next generation of stars at the city's Northumbrian Water-sponsored Castleview Enterprise Academy. Yes, it was 2006 the year Leona Lewis won and um, I, I got as far as the final stages of boot camp just before you go to the, the judges' houses. I, I got booted out before then. <laughs> The £16 million Academy has state-of-the-art, fully equipped music, recording and dance studios. Tony McNally's the Director of Performing Arts. I'm convinced we'll be seeing uh, some of our students on the screens in the future and on records. Um, we've, we've already had it in the past, but I think uh, we're, th we're going to thrive in this new building and with this new opportunity. Um, it has to happen. The Academy also has some experienced staff designed to get the very best out of the students. Before I was a teacher I spent uh, two years performing professionally uh, on cruise ships, uh, hotels, um, abroad and in the UK. At Castle View the facilities here are fabulous. We've got uh, a really large dance studio that covers two dance floor with a fantastic um, stained glass window which really gives them a, a sense of, you know, this is a nice environment that they're working in, all with mirrors and bars. The talent here are good. I've seen some very good singers, some very good actors. Um, I really want to push the dance. They've never done it before at the old school, so that's something that we're, we're going to really work on. I would love Castleview Enterprise Academy to become a performing arts base for children who want to go on to perform in the future. I'd love them to. I've had so much um, interest in all of my after school things. I've got, I've got a school of rock kind of going on with the band. I've got um, dance lessons and a, instead of calling it choir, I've got um, sing star lessons. That are, well, they're, they're, it's an after school activity club. So some of the students might one day face the X Factor judges, but is Simon Cowell really TV's Mr Nasty? Simon Cowell is not Mr Nasty all the time. Actually behind, behind the, the cameras he's a totally different person, he's quite chilled out. I think it's, it's sometimes a bit of a front that he puts on. I'm your 